Hey y'all, a little bit breezy out here on the farm this morning. If you saw the short I posted yesterday, we had a little trouble. Uh, axle on this big modest 2100 snapped in half. That's the axle broke clean in two. Um, and so the machine fell to the ground. The, this, all this was subterranean. The ground level was about here. All that went down in the ground. Uh, sitting out here on the ground in the field, bad day. I have tracked down another axle and hub assembly. Was not easy to do. Amada said closest one was in Virginia. I'm in South Georgia. But I accessed their dealer network and called through their network and I found two myself in South Georgia. Um, the problem's gonna be though, right over here the rim broke when the axle broke the way that picker fell on the rim and on the the inside of the rim there's a huge debit about the size of a baseball and on the outside of the rim cracked and nobody nobody has that rim closer than ohio lassiter equipment over in tifton georgia has the hub assembly uh mounted on the spindle but in cockwit georgia they have the spindle by itself and then all the separate parts the bearings all for the hub so they don't have the kit but they have all the parts and pieces themselves i don't know which one to go to i was hoping that that wheel would be in albany and i'll drive through albany to tifton pick up that whole kit assembly and uh stop back by albany on the way back get the wheel but looks like what we're going to do now is that wheel is going to be mounted back on the new spindle wherever i get it from they're going to break the tire off the rim with it mounted on the machine because you can't break that tire unless it's, it's mount the wheels mounted and then we're going to weld the rim with the tire on it but broke loose and then we're going to reseat the bead and uh pick peanuts with a welded rim that has a baseball size divot on the inside it's gonna be a fun day i have now driven two hours east to Laster, they're supposed to have the spindle hub assembly. I gotta go get it and turn back around, head back home. Meanwhile, I have tracked down a rim in the county south of me. Uh, Umverfurf said the closest rim they had was in Ohio. Uh, Amada said they didn't have one in Albany, Georgia or Virginia. None of the Amada's dealers stocked the rim. It's not something people buy very often. So I found a farmer in the county south of me that happened to have a extra peanut picker rim. It does have a blowed out tire on it, but I bought his rim. When I get back with a spindle wig, I go get his rim, take the bad tire off, put my good tire on it, get them swapped up. Farming is not just a lot of tractor driving and, and tilling and planting and harvesting. It is a lot, a lot, a lot of problem solving. Things happen every day that you can't anticipate. Uh, and so you have to adapt every day, figure out what it is that you have to do to keep going and, and to get, get the stuff back up and running. Row cropping is not as extreme version of that as vegetable farming. I, I do a little bit of both. Vegetable farming every day is like a complex, massive problem and you have to, you have to work your way through it. With row cropping, we do have days like today. I should have, if that axle hadn't have broke yesterday, I would have finished my peanut season about mid-afternoon today but instead about mid-afternoon today I will, or early afternoon I'll be getting back with this uh, spindle and then we'll have to go get the wheel change the tire mount the wheel so I may be able to pick tomorrow or late today that that tire change is gonna be a son of a gun some thick thick tire
got the new hub on there. Now we're gonna try to get the wheel up there to dig a big hole so we can get it low enough. We have the new spindle hub assembly on. We have the wheel on, the tires on the rim. But we gotta get this big 12 ply, 12 ply tire blowed out on the wheel. That's the problem. If you've never changed three 12 ply tires in one day, that's right, we took a bad 12 ply tire off a good rim that we was gonna put on the picker. We took the good tire off of the bad rim that was on the picker. And then we put the good tire from the picker on the new good rim. So that's three times that we put a dealt with putting a 12 ply either on or off a rim since lunch. And now we got it here on the machine, but we can't get it blowed out. The tire people that put, I bought a new tire earlier this year for the other side, and the tire people, when they put it on, they wouldn't attempt to change the tire unless it was mounted on the machine. They wouldn't let me bring the rim to them. They said they could only change it with a mount on the machine. And they also could not blow the tire out. They had to put a tube in it to get it out on the rim. We're gonna try to seat the bead without putting a tube in it because this tire didn't have a tube in it. Uh, from the get-go so it, it was possible to get it out but um it's just not easy to get it out but we have made a lot of progress today almost almost there almost ready to get this machine back running Well, that's gonna do it for today this time yesterday this machine was sitting frame on the ground and no one knew where any parts were within a couple of days shipping uh, too far to drive but I talked to Amadis on the phone they gave me part numbers which helped me to look up the parts with the other distributors and that was very helpful for Amadis to give me those part numbers so I can go out there and do the search and uh, I got some help from several other dealerships that uh, I didn't didn't have parts that I needed, but they would also chip in parts numbers and, and give me other people that I could call to keep the ball rolling to help find this stuff, chase it all down. So a lot of people helped out today. A lot of people got helped us get where we are with this. I didn't think yesterday, I didn't think this morning when this thing was on the ground that it would be on a wheel and out of the hole today, but it did. A lot of stuff got done, a lot of fun happened. So now we can finish harvesting. I was hoping yesterday, you know, before the wheel come off, I, I was on schedule to have finished about four o'clock today on Halloween. But looks like now I'll pick all day tomorrow and finish midday the next day. Ho hopefully, hopefully. I'm going to cover up this little trench. So I'll tell you what, before I back up any further, we're going to cover, cover this trench up in the morning where there's water washed down this row, create a little debit, and I'm gonna cover up the giant hole where we had to dig out to put the tire on before we move anything. I'm gonna cover up both these situations here so we can safely move. What happens is a little bit of a debit right here. Basket was full of peanuts. I was driving 0.8 miles an hour, 0 0.8 miles an hour, but the basket was full, rolled across this little ditch right here, snapped the axle. So. Try not to hit bumps with a full load of peanuts. I thank all y'all for watching. Hope to see you next time.